What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna get the very first startup of this Evo 10 that we've been working on. So it's got a brand new engine in it. Haven't had the opportunity to get it fired up yet. And that is today's goal. So we got a lot of work to do. I just went through and got all of these parts done here. Pressure washed and degreased, so they're all cleaned up, ready to go back on the car. Makes it so much easier to work on. Also, real quick, what I want to do is go ahead and swap out the CV axle boot on this CV axle. I believe this is, let's see, this is the shorter one. Oh man, I forget which one is shorter. It's a front, either drivers or passengers. And that right there is torn. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that guy swapped out. Let's head back here and let's see what we got. Pretty sure I got a boot sitting right here for it. Look at that. CV boot kit should have the boot, the clamps, the grease. Here's the part number. If I remember, I'll link it down below. If not, Google that part number and that should be the one you need for an inner front Evo 10 CV. All right, friends, let's move on and get some progress made on the car. Start getting some parts installed. The first thing that we're probably gonna install, which would make the most sense, is our subframe assembly. It's fully assembled, all ready to go. We just need to pull out our high lift tranny jack that's chilling right there and get this bad boy installed. So the subframe is fully installed, everything is torqued down. I'm gonna run through right now, get all of the motor mounts torqued. So there's this one here, one in the back, trans mount, and then the motor mount on that side as well. Just go through, make sure all that is tight because I know right now it's not. Let's get that knocked out and then from there, I think I'm gonna probably move on to all the wiring. Tackle this big giant mess just to get that out of the way and we can start assembling the front end of this thing.
So all the wiring's finished up. It's so funny looking back. I remember the first time I built a 10, which is the one that's sitting at the house. I thought wiring was the biggest nightmare in the world, and it still is compared to like a Subaru, for example. But in reality, that took about 20 minutes to get the whole entire engine bay rewired. So good to go there. We did pick up some uh, shifter cable bushings, and I believe they are some torque solutions. So let me grab those, get those guys installed. Here they are right here, Torque Solutions. It's what I run in my car and I freaking love the shifter fuel. I don't know if this car has the base shifter bushings installed or not, but if we get this in, if we get these in and Jared still thinks it's a little loose and floppy, we'll go ahead and upgrade the base bushings as well. So we just need to take the stock stuff out and get those bad boys installed. So all the wiring, shifter cables, everything is done. We got the new bushings in there. Next thing we need to tackle before we throw anything on the front, anything on the front end of this car is the oil cooler setup. We have a new oil cooler kit from MA Performance. So we're gonna get that cooler installed. And then we have to run, we have to build and run the lines all the way back to right here. Pull that stock cooler off. It's probably full of copper. Toss it in the garbage and get this new setup built. <laughs> Well, that guy's all finished up and built. Let's go get this thing up in the air. We have to do downpipe, the rest of the exhaust, and what else? Get the CV axles in, drive line has to go in. I'm not gonna completely 100% polish this whole build off tonight. I just wanna get the first start and uh, we can 100% get this thing like done, buttoned up tomorrow. There's a lot of little other things that we have to do or that we're doing while this car is still on the lift. We're doing brakes, so pads and rotors. We're doing uh, some new gauge stuff. We have to do some ball joint stuff. We got quite a few little random things to do. So I'm not trying to get all that done tonight. If we can get this thing just fired up for that first cold start for the boys. First cold start in like freaking three months. I'd be hyped. <laughs> While we're down here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the T case. So we are gonna fill it through that hole there. This is the drain plug. I need to go ahead and tighten it up, but put a good new crush washer on it first. And then we can get this guy filled up with some, what is it, red cap, I believe? No, it's gotta be the green cap. SAE 90, good old OE Mitsubishi gear oil. Thank you. 
Next up is the Trans Gear Oil. You already know, Redline Cocktail. If you haven't tried it, you probably should. Makes it feel way freaking better. Easiest way to feel a trans is right through the top. I used to do it by the fill plug right there, pain in the ass. If we just go ahead and pop out, let's say the sensor right here, right? Pull out that sensor, grab a long funnel, and you just pour it in from the top. Trans is all topped off, ready to go there. Next up is engine oil. Before I do that, I'm gonna stab in a manual oil pressure gauge right into this oil filter housing down here. So let's pull it out. Hopefully I have the right adapter. Maybe we can get that thing installed. Compression test. At least I thought I had one. We only have a couple little things left to install before we can fire it. Pretty much the radiator with hoses, some coolant um, intake, just so we can have the math, intercooler with piping, so we don't have a giant air leak, and some engine oil. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and throw engine oil in it. We got this oil pressure gauge on, so let's throw some, oh, and plugs and, plugs and uh, coils. But right now, let's do the engine, let's do the engine oil, and I'm gonna crank it over for a while and start building up some oil pressure. Harbor Freight Special has already shown we got a whole eight PSI. I'm gonna take a little break. I feel like Jared probably wants to be here for everything that we got going on right now leading up to the first start. So I'm gonna go make a nice cup of coffee, chill out for a little bit, and wait for this man to show up. Is he gonna turn on? No, no, there's no plugs or coils. All right, we got Jared here. He's in the inside. He's gonna crank this thing over and I'm gonna see if we build any oil pressure. Yeah. Just a couple seconds. I'll tell you to stop. Wait. <laughs> Let me uh, put your oil cap on. All right, hit it. Nothing yet. Hit it. This bitch ain't building shit. Okay, hit it. Uh, all right. Look at there, 40 PSI. Okay, hit it. All right, yeah, we're building plenty of oil pressure. Sweet, well, I'm gonna slap on the intake, intercooler, intercooler piping real quick, and then we gotta put in fuse 23 back into the fuse box. That is for the fuel pump, so we're not filling the uh, cylinder walls with fuel right now. So put that fuse back in, throw some coolant in this bitch, and fire it up. Jared looks nervous. I'm so nervous. Are you? Yeah. Jared, don't believe in me. No, I, I built like 40 of these hoses and he, he ain't trust. I mean, it's just a surreal moment. It's been so long. It was like early October that she blew, right? Mm -hmm. Like October 3rd or something? It was early October you hit a puddle, yes. Yeah, we're going to pick up a clutch alignment tool. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the dream? That's a nice funnel. Where did you get that? Sorry, oh, little bitch. I said Bobby last night. All right, last thing. Slop some new plugs in it. Or should we put some used ones in it? That'd be fire. I'm gonna gap these whores because Jared's gonna make all the sauce in the world. Wow. All right, name the gap. What do you want him at? I forget these numbers. Well, I can spit it out, bro. No, I don't remember. Two inch? Two inch. Yeah, right, I'll do two inch. Dude, what are the odds? What? We're wearing the same shirt. Yeah. That's queer. 
Mine's split open under my arm because I'm too jacked. Yeah, that's why you only pull 365. <laughs> you ready now? Yes. What's that torque spec? 1.2, okay. That's actually a problem I've had in the past is not tightening enough. Yeah, but do they back, have you had them back out? Not all the way, but I've had them loose. I had one in my E46 back out basically all the way. Noob. Straight yeah. noob. Explains why you I took it to a shop too. I didn't know anything about cars at the time, bro. It was my first car. And he's like, yeah, your spark plug was hanging out. And That's <laughs> fucked. I'm like, what? So we got a little bit of a coolant leak. It's coming from the coolant crossover pipe that goes from the water pump to the thermostat. There's a little gasket. I didn't replace it because I never even had it off. So I, I, I'm dumb for not replacing it. But the new gaskets are here. So I'll have to swap that out tomorrow sometime. For now, we're just gonna get her fired up. Make sure she eats, make sure she's good to go. I just want the first start and I know Jared does too. <laughs> So ideally right now, we would run the car up to operating temp, then I'd pull the filter, the oil filter off, and cut it open just to make sure there's no shit in there. But with this big old coolant leak that we got, she ain't ever gonna get to operating temp. She's just gonna overheat. Yeah. So fuck all that. So I'll have to fix that water leak, or the coolant leak tomorrow, and then we can get this car 100% dialed in, 100% just buttoned up, ready to go, and freaking drive it, bro. That's gonna be really weird. It was already trippy just hearing it start. Yeah. Damn, dude. It didn't smoke, didn't leak oil. Yeah, no, it sounded good. Yeah, it did sound good. Hell yeah. It's fucking loud. It's so loud, that sounded <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good shit. So I have a rule and I didn't follow the rule this time. My rule is to always run rod, always run water right off the bat for exact reasons like this. Now we have to drain all the coolant out of the car. The antifreeze is disgusting to work with. I don't know why I didn't put water in it, but regardless, I'm not gonna be able to get that done today because the car's all warm. I already burnt my arm once trying to get this damn thing fixed. So I'm gonna let it cool off overnight. And then tomorrow we can go ahead, tackle that coolant leak that we got. Should be easy fix. It's only two nuts on that crossover pipe. And then hopefully that crossover pipe just pops off and we'll be good to go. So do that tomorrow. And then of course, get this whole entire car completely buttoned up and hopefully she can go back to Jared tomorrow, which is freaking exciting. We met our goal, first start, first cold start for the boys. Super stoked, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out my friends, I'll see you guys tomorrow.